Hey guys, in today's vlog, I'm gonna show you Abby's puppies being born. Um, so do be aware, you will see puppies being born on this vlog. And if you guys like what you see, make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below. And the puppies that I'm gonna show you were born yesterday, Tuesday early morning, which was November 1st. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Abby is a little restless. Her temperature has finally dropped to 90. Eight, eight. She's laying in her, her little bed that I have on, laid on the side of the bed for her. This is her normal bed that I have covered up with a blanket, but she doesn't want to lay on it. And then this is all of the whopping stuff, whopping box. And then this is, um, like I have a whopping cart, but I like throwing just everything in here just because it's way easier to take inside there with me if I need it. And then I have like these that I can switch out when she's giving birth. Towels, more towels, some bedding, because I feel like there's never enough. Then the heating pad is on and ready. Um, let me see here. Let's organize this. So, plenty of um, towels, just for quick access. And I obviously don't probably need this much, and I'll probably set some over here, because I don't need that much. But... Um, in here, gloves. I need those. Um, then there is oral calcium. Hemostats. Oh my gosh. This, no. Um, this, I'm going to go ahead and probably wrap her tail with this. This is that wrap. Just keeps the tail clean. Because I don't like when it's messy. More oral calcium. Collars. Scissors for clipping cords that have been cleaned. More hemostats. Floss. This in case we would need it. Styptic powder. But I have not needed that. And then I have these little snot suckers, but they're used to clear the fluid out of the puppies. What's up, girl? Hey. Oh my gosh, look at her, <laughs> her haircut. But it'll be nice and clean when she has puppies. So, that's the whole goal. Let's see. Um, and then I have a pencil in there as well. But... That's pretty much the gist of it. I mean, I feel like I have, I have several of these because I feel it, and I have like a fresh one. Oh, and then I have a little, little can of food and um, a thermometer. So that's what I have in there. And I just toss it all in there because I feel like I'm not gonna really keep it organized anyways because I'm just gonna be grabbing stuff. So I just grab it as needed and throw it back in there. But these are super important to have. They clear the puppy's airways. I would not be caught delivering without this. This is like the most essential, I feel like. Because puppies get fluid in their airways really easily. And um, yeah, so that's what I actually will take and set inside the box with me. So now it's just a matter of when she will have her puppies. Okay, so I missed the first two puppies. <laughs> I've been up with her and I kept like waiting and waiting and waiting and I took her out and I dozed off. It was like, I don't know, 4.30ish. And at 5.30, John was like, did you hear that? She was lying on the side of my bed. She did not want to get in the whopping box, even though it's in our room. But I guess she just apparently, because I have a little bed made for her on the side of my bed. So she decided apparently that she that's just where she wanted to have the first two puppies. So I don't know. She had them all by herself, but she's a third time mom. So she knows what she's doing. But I was like beginning to worry. I was like, why are they 
you're not having your puppies yet. Huh. But you're doing a good job. Yeah. So we've got a little girl that was born first. A little boy that was born second. So cute. Oh, these dogs will be on your on your toes every time. She wants to push. So, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. It's a baby. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the phone down to assist this really quick. Good girl, Mama. Okay, so baby number three, little boy, this is him, he's all cleaned off and dried off. Good job on that. There's, oh, I just cut the tail. She always has them like right back to back, sets of two. Okay, so. That is puppy number four. Let me spin this around. Let's see. Good girl. Good girl.
give mom some oral calcium really quick as well because she's had a few more puppies. Come here, baby. I'll give you some of this. There we go. Good girl. Okay. So that's the Oral Cow Plus by Breeder's Edge that she gets. I swear by it. <laughs> I have a pillow behind my back. And I asked John if he wanted to come video me birthing a puppy. And I said, hurry, get over here. She's pushing. She's going to have a puppy. And he said, I just want to get him out of bed because when he come over here, she stopped. So... He does not want to get up. He, he'll do it in the daytime, apparently. I mean, it is daytime. It's morning. What did you say? I'm just the assistant. Well, the assistant needs to assist. These gloves feel big. I think that you could video, you could do some video work. I think everybody would agree with that statement. I click on one if you miss it. I'm tired here. I was up all night. She has the next puppy. Okay, so this is puppy number five. It's a little girl. Quiet. Yes, quiet. So pretty. I will get the cord. You already chewed most of it off, okay? Let me get it. He's quiet. Yeah, no, let me get it. Let me get it. I'll get it. Okay. Shh, shh, shh. Okay. I know you're like obsessive over it. No. Leave the cord alone. Come on. Good girl. And she's gonna have another one because she doesn't want the puppies on when she has other ones. So I'm probably gonna 
I'm just going to go and put them back in my box so she can have them. Yeah. Never mind. I'm not going to take them off because it's almost here. Yep. Okay. So, puppy number six right there. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Let's see something. Hold on, wait, wait, wait a second here. Wait a second, hold on, let me get him out first. <clears throat> Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. 
so she has her six puppies currently. So they're going. So I'm messy. I'll have to clean up. But she's got her puppies here. Two. Okay, guys. So you've seen Abby delivering her puppies um, and this is a few hours later I've got all the area cleaned up I've cleaned her up with hydrogen peroxide so she doesn't have super bad staining um, the puppies are just nursing away so she is a mama that has lots of milk and she's resting she's relaxed I mean, she's out of it. <laughs> um, and what's funny is I was up here and I was in and out and I noticed that she wasn't like resting, resting. And then I realized that two puppies had crawled behind her um, um, in the pig rails. And this is why we have pig rails because it gives puppies a safe space to crawl around where mom's laying. And Abby is just a, such a good mom, but she couldn't get them. Like when they're under there, the way she was laying, she's not gonna get up from her other babies. And they were back there and she wanted me to realize that they were back there. So I pulled them out and as soon as I pulled them out, she's been crushed ever since. So she's out. Good girl, sweetie. So. <clears throat> but that's pretty much it for now. I mean, she's she did fantastic. She had these puppies um, super fast, as always, super easy. Pops them right out. And just she's a great, great mom. So stay tuned and make sure that you guys <clears throat> like and subscribe to my channel for more puppy content and uh, yeah you guys will be seeing more of these puppies over the next eight weeks thanks for watching see you soon